going to start out with uh, everyone's favorite topic as it relates to a job search, which is uh, resumes. <clears throat> um, first and foremost, you know, what are the goals of a resume? Uh, a lot of people think it is a document that is designed um, to tell everything you've ever done for you know, every job, every company, and they like to fill it with as much detail as possible, which is a huge mistake. Um, the goal is simple. You want to land more interviews. Think about it as, as kind of your marketing uh, document where you can showcase relevant, significant experience, skills, accomplishments that align with the type of opportunity that you're exploring. So, so that's the goal. It's a marketing document and, and you just want to land interviews. Um, and that's it. You know, you don't want to tell everything you've ever done. <clears throat> Speaking of those mistakes, <laughs> that's the big one is everybody thinks it needs to be um, a tell all document. Uh, you know, another thing that we we tend to see is, is a resume. I've seen resumes that don't have proper contact information. Um, using what I would say is a bit more old fashioned tactics around, you know, the objective statement. Um, I like, you know, things have been trending more towards kind of a marketing um, uh, statement uh, with professional summary. You want to make sure, too, that your supply chain, you know, if you ask what is supply chain to every individual, you'll probably get a slightly different answer depending on the industry or the company or the company size. Um, but, you know, you want to make sure you're showcasing, you know, the context. An example would be you're a distribution center manager and that's all you put on your resume. What we would be helpful to know is what is kind of the size and scope of that facility, whether it's square footage, number of employees, you know, things of that nature, level of automation. So it helps to kind of paint the story. So otherwise people like recruiters or HR managers or hiring managers may make some assumptions. And what we're trying to do with a resume is, is make it crystal clear what we do, what we're trying to do, what we've done in the past, and ultimately, what was the value that we delivered for our current and past organizations. Um, so make sure you're sprinkling that context in there and the right amount of keywords. Um, you want to be careful not to put too much graphics in there. You don't want to put a photo of yourself. Sometimes I'll get resumes with headshots and you know, that's not necessary. Now in other countries, um, that is something that's more popular in the United States, uh, not so much. Um, be, be careful with acronyms. There's a whole lot of acronyms in supply chain, but just assume that your audience may not be supply chain experts. Um, you know, it's taken me many years to learn a lot of this jargon, lots of ambiguity. It's so thick you can slice it with a butter knife. So, you know, kind of, uh, I would say, dumb it down and err on the side of, of just assuming your audience uh, may need more context than not. Um, but be careful not to overdo it on, on the, on the uh, detail as well. Uh, putting personal information um, is not something you want to do either. Your, you know, your hobbies, you know, employers really want to know, you know, your skills, experience, accomplishments, again, the value that you can deliver that aligns with what they're trying to do or what problem they're trying to solve, um, role, objectives, qualifications, and so forth. Uh, make sure it's easy to scan. This goes back to the formatting. We're getting ready to get into that because um, I think that's the key really is, you know, it's, it's the right amount of text, the right type of text, and then putting it into a format that's easy to scan. Uh, so you want to make sure you do that. Uh, a lot of people, again, you smack big stacks of paragraphs on two or three pages, and you're forcing someone to go through and read word for word, and, and, and that's a huge, huge mistake. Uh, using your work email address versus your personal, my recommendation is have a separate email address, like a Gmail um, something you can access from anywhere that ties into your job search um, versus everything else you do. It's just easy to keep track. Uh, typos, uh, word, you know, the uh, the grammar check, spell check inside of Microsoft Word doesn't always do the trick. Best to have a second set of eyes. Send it to a few friends or colleagues or, or students, classmates, um, so you can get, uh, you know, someone to pick out those mistakes. Uh, a common one that I see is the word manger instead of manager, uh, see it all the time. Um, so uh, spell check's not gonna pick that up. That's why it's always good to have a second set of eyes. Um, and over, let's see, a, a big focus or overdoing it on listing out your task, your job duties. 
that's important, but you want to weave in and integrate accomplishments as well. Because again, it's supply chain is all about creating value. And you want to make sure you're showcasing that, which is best to do in the form of accomplishments. Another big one, uh, the segues right into quantifying those accomplishments, um, whether it's cost savings, percentage points, I saved this, I improved this process. Well, what, what did that equate to? If you can quantify it, now you can't always do it. Some of these are qualitative, but if you can quantify the results of your accomplishments, you know, that's gonna that's the stuff that's gonna wow uh, the employers. Uh, a one size fits all resume. You know, sometimes if you're you, you know exactly what you want to do, I'm gonna work in transportation the rest of my career. You can probably get by, but if you're a broader supply chain and maybe you're open to different types of functions or different types of industries, you know sometimes it warrants having maybe you know two or three different resumes. So be thinking again, match the hatch. You know what are they looking for? Um, you know, in terms of the job description and showcasing or elevating that relevant experience that aligns with the type of role, um, function, or, or, or industry as well. Um, again, avoiding stacks of paragraphs um, and then just, you know, anything that's unprofessional, like an email. I've seen some crazy email address addresses, um, anything that's unprofessional you want to stay clear from. So those are some of the common resume mistakes. Mm -hmm.